welcome back. So today we're gonna to be doing a get ready with me Thanksgiving edition. And this is basically just a video to have an excuse to make my green bean casseroles. And so many of you requested it in my fall favorites tag video. This is also going to be like a get ready with me. I'm gonna show you hair, makeup, and outfit for a formal dinner, and also a dish that you can take. This is also a collaboration with three amazing girls here on YouTube. Uh, Michelle from Ready Set Glamour. She's also doing a get ready with me video. She's gonna show you makeup and outfit. Most of you guys are probably already subscribed to her channel. She's absolutely beautiful. She's amazing with makeup. Her style is always on point. So check her out. Um, I'm also collaborating with Lizzie from What Would Lizzie Do? Which I've been watching this girl. Like she is hilarious. She cracks me up. She's really good with makeup. She does reviews, makeup tutorials. She's gonna be doing a makeup look for Thanksgiving. And then I'm also collaborating with Myra Touch of Glam. I actually just discovered her channel. Where have I been? I don't know if she's a professional artist. And if she's not, she totally should be because she is amazing. Check out her channel. She's also going to be doing a uh, makeup tutorial. If you're coming from their channels, welcome. And I'm going to stop talking now and let you guys enjoy the video. Okay, so we're going to be doing this in chronological order. So starting with the green bean casserole, uh, you can prep this the night before. You want to start off by bringing some chicken broth to a boil. And this is just going to be enough chicken broth to cover the green beans. While you're bringing that chicken broth to a boil, go ahead and get a saute pan and add some butter to it. Make sure your stove is on medium high and then you're going to saute some mushrooms. You're gonna season those mushrooms with sea salt, pepper, and I also like to add garlic. And then I just give it a good mix on the pan and while I'm doing that, you see that the chicken broth is boiling. So I go ahead and add the green beans. You could use either raw green beans and just cook them until they're tender or you can use frozen green beans. Either one works. It took me about five minutes to completely saute the mushrooms to where they shrink to this size. So I go ahead and put those aside and once my green beans are fully cooked, I go ahead and drain them in the sink or you can also save the chicken broth for something else like if you're making gravy or anything like that. So that is literally all the prepping that you have to do. Now we just start assembling everything. In a large baking dish, I go ahead and add the green beans first. Then I add the sauteed mushrooms to it and I add one to two cans of cream of mushroom. You don't wanna bathe everything in the cream of mushroom, you just want enough to coat everything. And then I mix it, I add some shredded cheddar cheese, and also a special ingredient is Worcester sauce. It just makes a huge difference. I add about a tablespoon, and then I give that a good mix. I cover it with aluminum foil, and I put it in a preheated oven at 400 degrees for 30 minutes to an hour, or until the cheese is nice and melted. Remember, everything is cooked already, so you can't undercook it. So now while that is baking, that gives me about 30 minutes to an hour to get ready. So I'm starting off by priming my face with these two Makeup Forever primers. One of them is a hydrating primer, which is the one that I put all over my skin. The second one is a smoothing primer, which I use only around my mouth area. And then I'm going in with my NARS Sheer Glow Foundation. Oh, I love this stuff and it photographs beautifully. You definitely don't want to use a foundation with SPF in it when you're going to any type of event where there is going to be a lot of photography. And I also find that it applies best and you can serve a lot of foundation if you use a flat top synthetic brush like this to apply the foundation and then go in with a damp beauty blender to blend it all in. Then I'm spot concealing any redness in my skin with this Jouer concealer stick. I also have this like weird redness on the side of my face. I have no idea where it came from, but it concealed it really nicely. And I blend that in with my beauty blender as well. And for underneath my eyes to highlight and also hide a little bit of the dark circles that I had that particular day, I used the Maybelline Age Rewind. And I pat that in with my Beauty Blender and I want to immediately set that so that it doesn't crease. And I'm just using a translucent powder and I press it in my under eye area and anywhere that I apply concealer. But you'll notice I didn't apply powder to the rest of my face. I'm gonna go in later and just dust whatever powder is left on my under eye area and apply that to, to the rest of my face. This is going to help prevent you from looking cakey. <laughs> and then I'm going into this YSL cream bronzer. Since I didn't put any powder on my cheeks, I can definitely use this bronzer. So I'm just bronzing up my face, my cheeks, my, uh, the sides of my temple, top of my forehead, my chin area. And I forgot to do my the sides of my nose, but you'll see later on in the video that I go back and do that. So now I'm going and dusting all that powder off from underneath my eye. Next, I'm going in and defining my brows. I wanted them to have a fuller look. 
Now moving on to eyeshadow for my crease, I'm using this ColourPop shadow on a large blending brush and just warming up my crease with it. Nothing too precise, as you can tell. Oh, this is the part where I went back and bronzed up the sides of my nose because I forgot to do that earlier and it just bugged me. It looked incomplete. So I'm going to start off with a base. This is uh, called Overboard. It's from ColourPop. I believe it's actually a liquid liner, but it works beautifully as a base. I am using the new Makeup Forever uh, 15 Artist palette. And the only thing I notice about this palette that kind of bugs me is that it doesn't have any transition shades. So that's why I had to use that color pop shadow. I'm using this gorgeous burgundy shimmery color and patting that on top of that uh, base that we used. And then I go in with a clean blending brush and just blend any harsh edges away. Now I'm going back to the same palette from Makeup Forever and using that lighter color above. And with the pencil brush, I'm placing that on the inner corner of my eye and bringing it up one third of the way just to kind of add a little bit of highlight. And then I'm going into this pearly white shade and using that on my brow bone. Next, I'm tight lining my eyes with this Butter London flat pencil. And as you can see, I'm placing it on my waterline and then blinking. And this is gonna help you if you have a little bit of trouble tight lining and you're a little afraid, try this technique. I'm also lining my waterline and then I'm gonna set all of those colors with a black shadow from the Makeup Forever palette. I'm just taking it on an angle brush and I'm patting that powder on top of the pencil liner that we applied. This is gonna lock that color in place. On the bottom lash line, I'm smudging that out just slightly. Then I'm taking the angle brush and I'm extending that bottom liner all the way up. I'm gonna create a cat eye using this black shadow because I want it to be soft. I don't want it to be really harsh like with a liquid liner. And then I'm gonna draw a line on, on the top of my lid and connect it to the outer corner. Next, I add some mascara and some false lashes from Makeup Forever. I'll leave the style name down, down below, but these are very natural looking lashes. I really didn't want anything too dramatic. I didn't want it to overpower the uh, glitziness of the eyes. Sticking with the cream powders, I'm using this Makeup Forever HD blush in a number 310. And I love using cream blushes with my beauty blender. So I take the widest part of the beauty blender, dab it, and then dab it onto my face. This is a foolproof way of applying any type of cream blush. And I have no idea why I did everything in the order that I did, but I did. Next, I applied some mascara to my bottom lashes. For lipstick, I decided on Twig by MAC, and then I wanted to mattify it even more. So I took some translucent powder and just dabbed that on top of my lipstick. I wanted a subtle glow to my cheeks, nothing too crazy, so I used this Jouer Luminizing Brightening Powder. You see it just gives you like this angelic glow. It's so gorgeous and it doesn't overpower the rest of my makeup. And you can totally leave it like this. I think the eyes look very pretty, but I really wanted it to be glitzier. So I decided to top off my shadow with these pure eye polishes. You can use these as bases or on top of your eyeshadow. So I used it on top and I mix these two colors. And I just think it gave it that pizzazz that I was looking for. And I set everything with Fix Plus and this is going to just lock all your makeup in place and make it look flawless. For my hair, I just wanted it to be slick and straight. That was the look I was going for, so it was very simple. I just straightened it, and when I got to my front layers, which are my bangs, but they're not really bangs because they're really long, I flicked it backwards and added some hairspray so it kind of fell away from my face. And then I also added some shine spray. So now before I get dressed, I decided to go and check on the green bean casserole. It is basically done. You're just gonna top it off with crispy onions and more cheese, and we're gonna pop it right back in the oven for another 15 minutes, at also at 400 degrees. This is gonna give me just enough time to get dressed. I decided on a black mini skirt with these super cute shoes from Just Fab. The top is from H&M, it's really glitzy. And then I just added a belt and some glam earrings from BB. It's actually gotten pretty chilly here lately, so I decided to add some black tights to the outfit. So I hope you guys enjoyed the video. If you guys wanna see a more laid back Thanksgiving get ready with me video, just let me know in the comments down below. Don't forget to check out the other ladies that I'm collabing with. They're all really amazing at what they do. I'll leave their links down in the info box along with uh, the full recipe ingredients to everything. All right, guys, I will talk to you guys on my next video. Mwah. Bye.